guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 9 of Ruby Ice Kingdoms. It's gotta get started in 3, 2, 1, go. She was watching over Ruby, of course. Mm. My thing is, why don't you? No, you'll see. Nope.
So the question is, how do you wake her up? Oh, God. Thank God. I love how he said that line and we immediately look at Ruby because you know what? The one other thing we can't talk about! <laughs> Of course, she's going to just take her in. It's 
So now what? I mean, she just put her sta- herself in cryostasis mode. So how in the world are they going to get her out and wake her up? <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm? Well, I feel like Adam's going to be behind that door. The man with two souls. This is a trap. I know they're walking around more like zombies. I know you're just assuming. But then what else do you want to do? And and the thing is, y'all don't know. She just put herself to sleep right now. What, by being gentle? <laughs> Yang. We have to, there's no other way. She's already falling asleep. She's already asleep. I don't think the big Nicholas building is going to wake up. Now that she's asleep, I mean, which is messed up. I think this is the only chance you guys have left. Yeah, we might have to use that sword. Make some.
Plus, she might need their help. Like, that is actually going to stop the train. Damn it, Weiss, come on! Uh. Oh. Yeah, because we just need the one on one fight. Two on one is so messed up. Oh no, baby, why so? There's another. Get the sword. Get the sword! Damn it. No, no, no!
damn it. Um, is that supposed to happen? Oh! Okay, no. For for a moment, you know who I kind of thought that was? Oh, because at first, wait, for a moment, because I was like, yeah, is that Blake? And then, but, but for a moment, for a moment, I thought it was you-know-who. I can't talk about her either. If you, if we, okay, all I'm going to say is it has to do with Yang. That's all I'm going to say. That's who I thought it was for a moment. I was like, wait, is she showing up? Because, okay. Because I remember talking about this in the first episode, or really in the first video for the first three episodes, when I watched it all together. Um, if they were going to be smart and show characters that possibly haven't shown up in, like, season one, or really volume one, um, showing them, like, super duper early, like, number one, Winter. Because Winter didn't show up until volume three, and... Ish, and then like maybe possibly seeing Crow in this, but something told me that they probably weren't going to show him, even though we're not done with this. We're now on week nine, and we are still in the dream sequence. I, I like, oh god, I still love this show, but I, <laughs> once again, you're in, in, in my opinion, because it is still good, it just feels like once again we're overstepping the boundary. Of trying to wake this girl up. Like, yes, still love this show. Still love these characters and the lore building and everything. Because love the hell out of it when I was younger and such. But, like, goddamn, we're nine episodes in. We're still at this. But, of course, this is, like, um, several parts in order to wake this girl up. I, She looks so badass. Oh, my God. <laughs> shit we're showing her now like bruh like are we doing that okay okay like we, we going into that and so that's why i'm like still hopeful for this show to kind of get a second season um even though like something tells me in my heart they're only gonna do like a one and done because all of this of what is happening in weiss's dream sequence of course is not even like in the original series because in the original series, we're hella past this. We're, we're like, the the situation on, like, Jean getting bit by that Grimm and his dream sequence, that was, like, a one-and-done thing. They kind of did a little bit more on Weiss with it, but not to the extent of all of this. So I, I'm still happy that we get to see a little bit more on this, but at the same time, it's like, you know, there's other things that I want to see, and that's why I kind of wish this was, like, at least a 24-episode series instead of a... 13 because once again we're on episode 9 and we're about to be on 10 next week and we'll be done with this show in the next couple of weeks so yes yeah, so hopefully praying next Sunday it is officially over and they are finally able to wake her up it was very interesting to see her go into a chronostasis mode and into her quote unquote eternal sleep and then because of what Ruby did, instantly wakes up and being like, okay, what the hell is going on? Like, what else do I need to do in order to stop this? But let this be like, but, but let it be it. Let me have, number one, the Weiss-Blake fight that I need. And then because, you know, Ruby is going to be, those two, well, what, Blake is going to destroy, distract Weiss. And of course, that's when Ruby is just instantly going to go to try to defeat this Grim to initially wake wise so hopefully that happens next week 
because I don't want to go into episode 11, 12, or 13, and we're still trying to wake up Weiss. I'm just saying. It's still a good show, but that it is, I think, and maybe a lot of people kind of agree on this, probably the one little nitpick of it, but because, I, I mean, the show was called Ice Queen for a nutshell, we all knew it was going to be very, very Weiss focused. And like I said, I'm not mad at it, but I'm like, damn, we are nine episodes in, we're still on this. That's the one fallback. But, I mean, it was a good episode. Very, very good. I hate the fact that her fucking dad as a robot took the damn fucking sword out. But something tells me that John is possibly going to pick it up. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of Ruby Ice Kingdom. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 10. Bye, guys.